the AU summits that the president attended last week in Kenya. And we shall our discussion will be centered on member state call against coup. And like I said earlier on, I have a security expert. He's here with me on set, Jonathan Isaac. You're welcome, sir. Good morning, sir. It was my pleasure, always. Let's look at this uh, AU summit that our president. Account to fight against coal. Um, see, Tanko, you believe with me, or rather agree with me that Nigerians at this point, the agitations of Nigerians, the agitations from all quarters across African continents, uh, is already a coup. And so, when you want to talk about coup, you must not first talk about how to stop or how to end coup without talking about the welfare of the citizen. You want to talk about ending of coup, you must go back to history, what necessitated the coups in Africa and particularly in Nigeria. You know, um, I'll drive you around the history ball of, uh, of Togo in 1963, there about, when they had a first coup in Togo. And uh, what led to the coup? Poverty, the perceived up of cheat from the government that the people there's no share, there's no fair share in terms of uh, you know, resources and all of that. And then come back to Nigeria, where we are, you know, our first constituency. You agree with me that uh, over the years we've had coups. And what are the causes of this coup d'etat from the military and some agitated civilian coups that we've had? The causes, the root causes of these things are what I expect the AU summit to address rather than putting it like... Uh, they will not tolerate school. I see that as an exercise of fear and at the same time uh, try to take precautions. But they are not taking the precaution in the right directions. Um, talk about the first school that, um, that was uh, Chuku, somebody, Chuku Emeka Kaduna, mm, Kaduna and that was the uh, 1960, 1960, 1966, about and all of that. After the short uh, after the independence and all of that. You, you, get, you come to realize that the, what necessitated these coups were agitations. Uh, they felt that some politicians and even some military officers have been engaged in the case of uh, corruptions and systemic and political corruptions ongoing. And that then brought the idea of coup d'etat. So if you look at it coming from history and particularly in Nigeria, what has always led to coup in Nigeria is the aspect of poverty, Corruption, systemic corruption, and the political corruption in particular, and the current uh, uh, unemployment rate. These are some of the issues or the root causes of uh, of of coup, especially when it comes to corruption. It stands today, uh, as I as I would tell you, a situation where you have zero for just about ninety something and then about five hundred billion for about uh, over two hundred and something million Nigerians. But they do it to some person that they felt that okay, or qualified for this such amount. It's such a thing, people will begin to look at it as an upward cheat from the federal government. Where you have several things. So, what is the equity justice? No, this particular one is not the doing of the I, federal government. I am government. only just. The one you are talking about I'm is only, the National Assembly that actually allocated this no, for this. When we talk about the government, we must define where this government is talking about. We're not just talking about the executives. Mm -hmm. There are different executives. There are different arms of government. Exactly. So the, the name government is still inclusive. It doesn't be eluded from it as uh, because they really know this mm -hmm. is not government. No, they have the arm arm of this is they have the judiciary, of they have the executive. The executive arm of government is what yeah. it's it, 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 uh, requested for. And then the legislature to do its own thing. The and fact that they are still governments, they are to interest of the of people. Nigerians. So when you say, oh, no, 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 that's a, you're not to excuse some persons, but the fact is, that, let me take it like where we are, the aspect that I, I expect the AU to be addressing as, you know, as a, a committee, they are to tell leaders, go back to your various be the heroes that you ought to be and reduce the poverty level in Nigeria from 40% to a minimum of even one digit to 9%. And when people like in, in countries like Iceland and up to 0% of uh, crimes is as a result of life is being, you know, life is going well. Go back and how you 
can do to drive your, econ your economy so that your citizens will benefit from every policies you put in place. Today in Nigeria, the three exchange rates that Markets that we have have been crippled. The two policies that drive the, the physical, both the physical and the monetary policies, have been crippled. Nothing is working. Inflation is not. so. When you begin to talk about, we will not tolerate any in Africa. You should equally be telling that you will not tolerate anything that called corruption, poverty, stagnation, cheats. Okay, that now, from, from, now, from now. so now, so address the root causes, and of course, and also the judiciary. Because let me tell you something, agitation is what. Where we call coal. This is how agitation started. They lost its respect. Before the executive, when we have in this country, the judiciary have ruled over the years that you should release Unandi Kano. Let's, let's take for example. Now, what now, happen? Now, that does not happen. Now, me, that is also an agitation coming from the thoughts. Now we talked about you, you, you talked about the history. And uh, it's always been the military before using the politicians. And then over, and then after the, 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 there was also uh, the issues of human rights abuse and all of that, and then uh, came back to Nigeria. This is in Nigeria now. If we look at counter accusation, counter accusation has not anywhere. Well, it has, you know, democracy. We're shaping the mindset of the to tell the people that look when you go. Outside the content of what democracy should provide, then we need to normalize the system. That is what the military are actually meant for. But not in this country. Because the military have, in a way, been bought over with the current in a politicization of the no, 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 um, let me tell you something. Now, Counting no, from sorry, the, he, yes, what, the echoes from your own has, history. No, from your own history, because we are talking about member states yes. calling for an end to coal which has not happened in Nigeria at least in the past how many years, but it's happening in other countries, right? Now, we are, I am asking, from where we are coming from, has there been any improvement? Either taking over from military or military over in the past, has there been any improvement? I, of course there have been improvement. Um, go to Burkina Faso, charts and all of that today. I think the military intervention have um, reshaping, like I said, the mindset of the people to know what is right and what is wrong. What truly democracy should stand for and what militarization or molestation of the people. So I think there have been improvement over the years, counting from our, from the past, the, the, the realities on ground and, and for the future. That there have been success over the years. Coming from, uh, like I mentioned, in, in total, the, 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 the people come to realize that, oh, we have been wrong. And the military handed over. You understand it? Why is it that um, uh, uh, the, the, the Mugabe of this world lasted to even run over about 40 years? Because the people were given what they ought to be given. So there were no agitations and there were no uh, militarizations in any forms. If you ought to go to school, you go. If there is a share in the, any other part of the country, everybody gets an equal distance. There was no rascality in judiciary or executive rascality. So you know, in this way, and people are thinking it was doing magic. Let me tell you something. We've had over in this, we have we've had histories where people, even the same AU, could not even have done anything in the in, in of that. What did they do? So all I'm trying to say is that in the past we've had cases where military came in for their interest. Mm. We've had cases where civilian, also the civilian, pulled the military to carry out some actions. The interest of the people. Mm. So at over times we will not say that uh, uh, it has not benefited us. It has benefited, benefited us greatly. But the advent of democracy, the coming of democracy have not uh, really given room Mm, that for, for, for that anymore, but uh, I think it is of the pains that make some of these coups to happen in some of the states uh, or the country rather that we, we, we mentioned today. Yeah, but talking about natural democracy, it's still a nascent democracy where still it's a work in progress. 
not just only in Nigeria. Democracy in Africa is not still is still uh, some persons will call it uh, illiberalism and not some 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 rituals of it. But I think democracy has not still come to stay. That is the fact that we must tell ourselves. No, democracy, we tell it has come to no, stay. No, democracy has not come to stay. Democracy in Africa is just like a toddler. It's like a baby trying to to learn to get his feet. So are we going to talk democracy in the country where judiciary does not have independence? Are we talking about a, a democracy in a country where there is too much executive interventions in the legislative arms of government? Uh, are we talking about democracy where the people are not giving what is right to them? No, so, what is happening is uh, there is separation of powers as constitution yes, as enshrined we will in, the in the paper, of the right? Republic of Nigeria. Yes. It is in the constitution. In the constitution written, yes. And it each arm of government exercise its powers, but what they do is that there should be at some point where the three meet. <laughs> well, when the decision of and I'm sure the decision of the, the, decision of the legislative say, arms is there should not be such a uh, relationship. The decision, the decision making body of the, what we call the legislative arms today is predetermined by the executives. As what happened, look, that may not have to come out no, of the, the screen. Le le no, the legislature has a mind of its own. Well, well, that you will want to say, but I am telling you that we shouldn't go far or go in details of that. Or we'll go in details in that we'll just be opening the cans of words, mm. which is not good for, uh, let me see, for our democracy that we want to actually propagate. But let me tell you something. If democracy in any country, perfectly or peacefully, is as a result of the leaders that they have, when the leaders, the right leaders are in power, you have the best, you know, you enjoy democracy. Because when they say democracy for the people, for the people and by the people, it is not just about a proper definition of what democracy sounds. It is about the practical, you know, distributions of words. You understand it? Equity, justice, fairness, and the things that constitute democracy. But can we say there's democracy in a country where someone can sit somewhere and tell you that I am the president and so such a person should be arrested we cut all with any without any uh, justification for that and it's happened can we say there's a democracy in a country where uh, for for, uh, for instance did not have the larger uh, uh, budget when even the south and the southeast and most of the, the some of the other regions produce give what they, what what they, what they consider the country can we say what about population doesn't it count no 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 when we talk about population we understand that there's high population in that but in population counts. The, the, but in justice or in fairness to those that produce it to those that these are situated in their in their region, to those that like the Ogoni up have not been carried over the years, we have uh, we, we 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 have the Nile Deltas. They don't even have good water, no good roads, no good uh, 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 farmlands because of what all you are taking over. So we're not talking about uh, uh, populations. Are you not going to use population as, as against the the, the 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 growth of the of a state that produce the mineral resources that is not sustaining the country? So these are the issues that we shouldn't be going in as to whether populations are or think when you said this studio is where oil comes from and this is the only house you have to stay. I it is it is it is on me, it is that it, it is my responsibility to protect you, to give you the best, so that when water you don't have good water, I should be able to produce you packs of water, even without considering the population of the other people, because the only place you have have been uh, uh, overtaken. So by, by, by this uh, crude, we should not go into that. Well, <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> well, I, I, I think this is... Your last, word, your, your last word on how to tackle poverty, unemployment, so that the, all of this can go away. There are so much unemployed you, uh, soldiers parading the streets in all across the state today. Mr. President must find a way to check the security architectures, modate, and threats. And then again... When we talk about insecurity, insecurity is poverty. Insecurity is upward treat when perceived by the by the country by, by citizens from the government. So I expect Mr. President to see a possibility to bring policies or policy maker that can drive our economy to a smooth a smooth ride where we will not have inflation that is more than single digits. All right, thank so you. So I much. we cannot tell you talking thank about you. coup thank that you. Thank 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 you. Thank
it's been, been the interesting RSP. having you do a short time, but it's been interesting having you. Always uh, interesting and educative having you on the set. Thank you very much for talking uh, to these issues. Good as morning. We have, Thank you to Nigerians. Uh, my pleasure always.